Have you ever wondered how the combat capabilities of China's two existing ski jump aircraft carriers, the Liaoning and the Shandong, would undergo a qualitative leap once equipped with the latest stealth carrier-based fighter jets? This question, which has long sparked speculation among military enthusiasts, now has an official answer. During the recent September the 3rd military parade, the J-35 fighter's first public appearance undoubtedly stole the show. Even more excitingly, officials subsequently confirmed that this world-class stealth carrier-based fighter possesses compatibility with both catapult and ski jump launch systems. This breakthrough means it can launch not only from the Fujian carrier, equipped with an electromagnetic catapult but also from the Liaoning and Shandong carriers with ski jump decks. This advancement fundamentally reships the combat composition of China's two existing carriers, elevating their overall operational effectiveness to unprecedented levels. The J-35's formal commissioning marks China as the second nation, after the United States to possess two stealth fighter variants, and the second country to successfully develop and deploy a stealth carrier-based fighter. Widely regarded as one of the world's most advanced carrier-based fighters, it surpasses the U.S. Navy's F-35C in multiple critical areas including stealth capabilities, avionics systems, and weaponry. The J-35 stealth design represents the pinnacle of the craft. Its entire airframe features metamaterial coatings that effectively absorb radar waves, S-shaped air intakes cleverly conceal engine blades, serrated exhaust nozzles reduce thermal signatures, and the fuselage's curved lines eliminate right angles causing radar waves to scatter upon contact and preventing effective echo formation. Its radar cross-section measures a mere 0.01 square meters, approximately 85% smaller than the F-35's 0.065 square meters. This enables the J-35 to detect and engage targets at extended ranges, while remaining virtually untraceable by adversaries. Powered by two domestically developed WS-19 thrust vectoring engines, each delivering 12 tons of thrust, the J-35, achieves a combined thrust of 24 tons, nearly 5 tons more than the F-35C's engines. This powerful, Chinese heart, propels the J-35 to a maximum speed of Mach 2.2, far exceeding the F-35's Mach 1.6, and enables supersonic cruise capability. The vector nozzle technology allows 360-degree thrust vectoring, enabling the fighter to execute extreme maneuvers like aerial hovering and feathering granting it absolute dominance in close-range dogfights. These performance metrics not only demonstrate technological advancements in China's aviation industry, but also imply that China's naval carrier strike groups will hold greater strategic advantage in potential future air-sea confrontations. The J-35's compatibility with both catapult and ski jump launch systems holds strategic significance for enhancing the combat effectiveness of China's existing carriers. While the Liaoning and Shandong, China's current mainstay carriers are still in their prime with the oldest having served only a decade or so and expected to remain operational for decades. The J-15 series carrier-based fighters they previously carried faced a generational disadvantage against U.S. carriers equipped with F-35Cs. Now, the J-35's compatibility with these two ski jump carriers grants them overnight the capability to engage U.S. carriers head-on, technically speaking, Modifying aircraft originally designed for catapult launch to perform ski jump takeoffs presents significant challenges but is not impossible. The key lies in engines delivering sufficient thrust and optimizing center of gravity balance during the ski jump phase. The J-35 was conceived from the outset with a multi-role philosophy aiming to meet diverse military branch and mission requirements. Consequently, achieving catapult ski jump compatibility became a relatively solvable problem. With the J-35 on board, the Liaoning and Shandong carriers will see a significant increase in aircraft capacity. The J-15 is a heavy carrier-based fighter with substantial dimensions, approximately 22 meters in length, 15 meters in wingspan, and nearly 6 meters in height. In contrast, the J-35, as a medium-sized fighter, is notably smaller, about 17 meters long, 11 meters in wingspan, and 4.5 meters in height. This means that the same size of carrier hangar and deck space can accommodate a greater number of J-35S. Taking the Liaoning as an example, it currently carries a maximum of 24 J-15S. If a mixed formation of J-15S and J-35S is adopted, the carrier's aircraft capacity could potentially increase to 30. Do not underestimate this seemingly modest increase in numbers. In high-intensity naval air combat, an additional fighter could mean a greater chance of victory or even become the decisive factor in determining the outcome of a battle. Beyond quantitative gains, the J-35 represents a more significant qualitative leap. As a highly informatized multi-role fighter, 
It is equipped with advanced avionics and command and control systems. Its cockpit design is strikingly futuristic, where pilots no longer rely on traditional instrument panels, but instead view real-time three-dimensional battlefield maps projected directly before their eyes through augmented reality helmets. The onboard gallium nitride active phase array radar boasts a detection range of up to 400 kilometers, capable of locking onto F-16V fighters at Kiawe Air Base even from near the Taiwan Strait. Its advanced electro-optical systems can penetrate cloud cover to precisely lock onto stealth targets. These capabilities suggest the single-seat J-35 may possess the ability to coordinate with drones, which could serve as reconnaissance vanguards for carrier-based aircraft formations, effectively addressing the lack of fixed-wing carrier-based early warning aircraft on the Liaoning and Shandong carriers. Regarding fixed-wing carrier-based early warning aircraft, one promising possibility is that the KJ-600 could also be deployed on the Liaoning and Shandong carriers. Although slightly larger than the J-15 as a carrier-based early warning aircraft, the KJ-600 has a lower maximum takeoff weight, suggesting it could likely achieve ski jump takeoffs from the heavy load launch points on the Liaoning and Shandong. Based on publicly available KJ-600 serial numbers, analysts speculate that over a dozen units may already be in service far exceeding the requirements for the Fujian alone, and unlikely to be premature preparations for future carriers. This suggests a portion may be earmarked for the Shandong and Liaoning. Equipping these carriers with KJ600SS, mobile maritime command hubs, would revolutionize their combat capabilities. Even without the KJ600, the modern combat systems comprising J-35 fighters, J-15T, J-15D carriers, and naval drones will substantially enhance the combat capabilities of both the Liaoning and Shandong, positioning them among the world's most capable medium-sized carriers. The J-35's weapons system is equally impressive. According to recent CCTV reports, its internal weapons bay can carry six medium- to long-range air-to-air missiles, shattering long-held assumptions that medium-sized stealth fighters were limited to four medium-range missiles due to base space constraints. Through optimized weapons bay design, and the adoption of folding wing missiles like the PL-15E or the new PL-16, the J-35 achieves a significant increase in firepower payload, enhancing its beyond visual range combat capabilities. This means it can maintain firepower superiority for longer periods during air combat. Given the J-35's role as a carrier-based aircraft tasked with diverse missions, the importance of this weapon-carrying capacity is self-evident. With an operational radius of 1,350 kilometers, it can effectively cover critical waterways and carry various precision-guided weapons to execute maritime and land attack missions. With the J-35 now deployed on both the Liaoning and Shandong carriers, the overall combat systems of China's three aircraft carriers will undergo profound changes. The Fujian carrier, equipped with catapult-launched J-35S and KJ-600 airborne early warning aircraft, will form a complete combat system similar to that of U.S. carriers. Meanwhile, the Liaoning and Shandong carriers may adopt a combat model, where J-35S operate in coordination with helicopter-based early warning aircraft or unmanned aerial vehicles, still capable of delivering formidable combat power. This multi-tiered, Multi-configuration carrier force structure enables the Chinese Navy to respond more flexibly to military missions of varying intensity across different maritime zones. From near-sea defense to distant sea escort operations, it now possesses more reliable air power support. The success of the J-35 in its adaptation to existing carriers not only demonstrates the technological prowess of China's aviation industry, but also reflects the evolution of the Chinese Navy's operational philosophy. This approach, significantly enhancing combat capabilities through equipment upgrades on existing platforms, undoubtedly represents an efficient and economical path to military strengthening. For the Liaoning and Shandong, the deployment of the J-35 transforms them into modern aircraft carriers in the true sense, rather than mere platforms for aircraft takeoff and landing. The doubled combat capabilities of these two carriers provide the Chinese Navy with more potent tools for safeguarding national sovereignty and maritime rights thereby amplifying its military influence across the Asia-Pacific region and beyond.